this video, we'll be looking at adding ease ins and outs to a bouncing ball. In the previous video, we looked at setting the keyframes for a bouncing ball animation. And now we're going to look at adding ease ins and outs to that animation to make it look like the ball is actually being affected by gravity. Okay, so let's click on the first keyframe in the peg bar layer. Click the set ease for multiple parameters icon in the timeline view menu. And for our first keyframe, we'll set an ease in of 80 in the right time ratio. Apply. This curve will indicate a slow acceleration from the pull of gravity. Hit apply next to go to the next keyframe. In this keyframe where the ball hits the floor, we don't want any ease in or ease out. Uh, it doesn't slow down at all. It simply hits the floor, rebounds hard, and heads back up. So we're going to leave this at 0 and 0 and go to the last keyframe. And in the last keyframe, we'll set an ease out of 80 and hit apply to set a deceleration here. So that's your ease out, indicating that the ball is fighting gravity and is slowing down. Now, if you play our animation, we should get something that looks like it's being affected by gravity.